Genesis chapter 32, 22 through 32, just feeling kind of crazy this morning. Um, we're just going through the word together right now. I feel like this year is a year of just going through the word together. Um, unless we get a now word of something, which this is a now word. Of course, everything's a now word. But unless the Lord just says, hey, I need you to talk about this, that's what I'll do. But I just really felt like God wanted me to pull from what I am studying and reading. And hopefully that you're going to gain something out of this that you've never seen before. So Genesis 32, 22 through 32. Here we go. And he arose that night and took two of his wives or his two wives and his two female servants and his 11 sons and crossed over the ford of Jabbok. Or Jabbok. He took them, sent them over the brook, and sent over what he had. Then Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip. Make sure you read this right in verse 25. Now he, capital H-E, saw that he, capital H-E, did not prevail over mm -hmm. him, little h. Okay? Verse 26, and he said, let me go for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he yes. said to him, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. He said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with man, and you have prevailed. Then Jacob asked again, tell me your name, I pray. Mm -hmm. I love this part. And he said, why is it that you need to ask about my name? I know I'm not done reading. But I just want to stop right here. Why is it you need to ask about my name? you know who I am. And he blessed him there. So Jacob called the place, uh, the name of the place Penal, for I have seen God face to face, which Penal means face to face, and my life is preserved. Just as he crossed over Penal, the sun rose on him and he limped on his hilt, and then the rest of it's about not eating the meat from the socket. Father, we love you and praise yes. you. Thank you for your word. Give us just an empowerment with it today in Jesus' name. All right, I love this. I love this. I don't want to even call them stories anymore because people take that out of context and say, well, yeah. it's just a story. It's not reality. I love the case study of Jacob. Let me put it that way. I love the case study of Jacob here. Uh, Jacob takes all of his family and everybody and moves them across uh, J to Jabbok. And then he comes back across the other side of the river and just gets alone. While he is alone, the scripture says that the Lord shows up. Now, if I'm going to be more specific, I believe it's Jesus. Okay. I believe it's Jesus that shows up and is wrestling. Mm -hmm. Well, with, and many interpret it to because be that. it doesn't say the angel of the Lord. It does not say any. It, it says, says a man. A man. The only one that showed up like a man was Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Jesus, I believe, shows up and wrestles with Jacob. Now, Jacob summation here prevails over the Lord, the man, mm -hmm. and man. Yeah. Because he goes, you prevailed over God and man. Mm -hmm. He wins his favor. He wins his blessing. Which means that he endured. He succeeded. Mm -hmm. And gained what he was after. Now, watch this. Even after great trauma. Mm -hmm. Because it says that. Jacob wrestled with Jesus or the Lord, the man, for so long that the man, Jesus, I'm saying, I'm still saying, could not overpower Jacob. Mm -hmm. So, watch this, he had to knock his hip out. Wow. This was trauma. Mm -hmm. This was a place of trauma. How do I say this? Most people, when they go through a traumatic experience, will do one or two things. They will either draw closer to God or pull away from him. That's so true. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a trash man. Um, one or two things is going to happen. When a traumatic situation happens, and I'm, I'm not saying that we're going to have to go through some trauma. I'm not saying that we're going to have to go through, um, you know, a bunch of hail to get there. 90% um, of the Bible, we see people are having to go through some stuff in order to get to the place where God can bless them. That being said, people are either going to draw closer to God in their place. <laughs> there they everybody heard beep, beep, beep. Um, they're either going to draw closer to God in the place of a traumatic experience or they're going to draw away. This is all dependent upon you. It really is. Jacob has his hip knocked out. And if you read the scripture, he holds 
on during mm -hmm. a traumatic experience. Y'all let that sink in for a minute. You know, whenever trials come about, and I know that you've seen me post it before, but whenever trials take place, who you really are is revealed. Yeah. Because what do you hold on to whenever the going gets tough? Um, I've and said, that's what that's what this word is showing. I've said this forever, that you don't know what kind of faith you have until your faith is tested. Mm-hmm. Um, so traumatic experience take place, he grabs on even harder. Yeah. I'm not letting go of you until you bless me, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, you, why you gotta ask him his name when you're asking him to bless you because you know who he is, all right, yep. Jacob? So Jacob goes from being just a man through a traumatic experience, holds on to the Lord, the Lord blesses him and changes him from a man to a nation. Wow. Before, your name was Jacob, deceiver, heel grabber. Now mm -hmm. your name is going to be Israel. Hello? God's people. I'm about to change you to something bigger than you because you were not willing to succumb. Come on. You were not willing to back down. You were not willing to let go when I even hurt you. Not saying God hurt him, mm -hmm. but knocked your hip out. Yeah. Jacob names the place Penal, meaning this. I've seen God face to face and I'm still alive. Wow. Something happened so significant. Mm -hmm. I need you to see this. The knocking out of the, the knocking the hip out of the socket had more to do with the after experience than the during. Even though the during experience of the trauma pushed Jacob to go harder and hold on, the aftermath is going to be presented to the entire world. Wow. When you have a face-to-face -face encounter with God and walk away from that encounter, mm -hmm. do you walk differently? Wow. Because the Bible says that Jacob limped on his hip for the rest of his life, meaning it changed his walk forever. He was not the same. Come on. He was never the same. That's good. You understand that one face-to-face -face encounter with God can change you for the rest of your life. One encounter with God yes can shift you from who you were, deceiver, sinful, to Israel. Come on. To God's people. Okay? One encounter with God can make you walk different for the rest of your life. One yes. encounter can set you up for greatness. Why did Jacob need such an encounter with God? Yes. Why? Because he was about to go back home to Esau. Yes. And Jacob had the favor of God to go back, reconcile, and be humble before his brother. Mm -hmm. What is this telling us to do? Simple. Get along with the Lord. Are you ready for this? Jacob sent everybody out, went back across by himself in the middle of the night, got along with God, and had an encounter that forever changed him. He let God access all of him. Think of it this way. Instead of saying, God touched me, which he touched him, but he said, through the wrestling process, you're gonna have to break me down because I'm never yes. letting you go. Which was getting Jacob out of Jacob mm -hmm. to prepare him to receive the new him so that he walked differently for the rest of his life. You wanna walk differently? Get along with the Lord. 
go meeting face to face. Have a real conversation. When I read a, a story, uh, when I read the historical mm -hmm. case study of Jacob, and he gets along with the Lord, man, it was all in. They're wrestling. You know what that means? They're close. Yes. They're they're, they're intertwined. You know why he had to wrestle with him? Because Jacob had to die before he crossed over that river. Jacob could not enter into the next process or the next dimension, the next season that God had for him. Jacob had to die mm -hmm. so he could become the nation that God intended him to be. What is it that the Lord wants to wrestle out of you? Ooh, that's a good question today. Really think of that. So you can walk differently for the next season that he is having you enter into. Amen? Go get along with the Lord. Hold on. Things are about to change. Amen. Amen. I don't... This was a very... Uh, challenging word because I think that everybody does need to ask themselves today what is it that God wants to wrestle out of you ask yourself that today share this with someone ask someone these these teachings are discipleship they're practical they're stirring they're provoking yeah. um, they require action because I think that as a people of God, we should walk away from an encounter with the Lord transformed and changed. We should not just walk away the same as we were, <clears throat> excuse me, before that encounter. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that this, this, you know, this, this lesson in the word is teaching us that. Mm -hmm. We should walk away transformed and different. Mm -hmm. If you are not walking away transformed and different, you need to ask yourself why. What is it? that the Lord wants to wrestle out of you. Um, you can either comment that, put it in a prayer request, um, inbox it to us, because we want to be praying with you and agreeing with you that these encounters that you are having with the Father, because we pray that you're having encounters with the Father, are life-changing and transforming. Um, go to our website if you have not already, chrisworksministries.com forward slash partner, and sow a one-time seed, partner with this assignment monthly, um, you know, take of the principle of tithe. Um, if you are not a part of a corporate body, all of that information is on our website. Um, we actually have new partner perks that are going to be coming out soon. Um, I've been talking to our promotions managers um, and some of our board members here recently. And so we've got some changes that we're going to be making on that. Um, so join with this assignment with us. When you do, and I love where we were just at um, because Pastor Josh Brown said it so greatly um, that whenever you join with us, every person that is impacted through this ministry, whether it's online teachings, revivals, conferences, or whatnot, you get to be a part of that. When you're in heaven one day, you're going to get to see. Somebody's going to walk up to you and say, because you gave, yeah. you helped them get here and it changed my life. Absolutely. Praise the Lord. And your giving, your faithfulness um, to sow seed and to partner with this assignment makes it possible for us to continue to do what we are doing and to offer it free to those that do need it for free. So it's an outreach all across the Amen. nations. Um, and be praying with us. We are getting prepared um, to head out to Memphis this weekend for a project, as well as the following weekend, we are going to share it in Arkansas. Then after that, we're going for a week to Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, and then after that, we're coming back to Tennessee, but we just booked a men's conference in August. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a men's conference and a revival in August. We're going to be doing a couple of weeks in August out in Arkansas. So we're super excited about that. Um, we're planning on going back to Mississippi. We've got our calendars getting booked. So if you are a minister or a leader and you are watching and you are wondering how to book our ministry, go to our website. That information's there. Um, you can inbox us here on social media and let us know. Amen. All right. May the Lord bless you and keep you. His face shine upon you. I declare no plague, no pestilence, no tragedy come against you, that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Yes. All the glory be to God, and we love you, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Same time. Bye.